So now, for this video, we are visiting the locations of one of the most iconic movies in sci-fi and action cinema, The Terminator. We're at the very first scene of the movie, well, second scene, where the Terminator arrives here at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. And it's right here, Arnold Schwarzenegger was kneeled down, right? So now we're at the entrance of the observatory. In that shot, Arnold walked right along that curb right there towards that way. We're about, we're, we're about to walk. So where I just walked was where Arnold Schwarzenegger originally walked down to uh, where, you, where they used to have a gate for an entrance where the three punks, Bill Paxton, Brian Thompson, and the other guy were at. Unfortunately, it's not there anymore. And that's where he walked up to them. And the observatory was still in the background. And he, uh, that's where three punks met their de demise from the T-800. Give them to me, now. Fuck you, asshole! So now, we're about to seek out the location where Kyle Reese arrives. And uh, we gotta head this way to find that alleyway where also you see the police cruiser coming by as well. I believe we are very close. So, here we go. It was, which, which, it was two what? Two, between 212 and 214. 212 and 214. Ah, Colonel Sanders. Oh, is it right this, here? This is it. Yep, this is the alley where he arrived. Unfortunately, it's blocked off. Right up, right around there, that's when the, the time portal came in and then he fell flat into the ground right there. And then like he ran past that way and he saw the bum guy and then he took his pants. <laughs> hey buddy, did you just see a real bright light? Hold it right there! It's rabbiting. Hey! I said hold it! Go! So I am now at the filming location of the restaurant where Sarah Connor works, where the big buns is. And so, she comes up right on here on her scooter, comes up here, and then parks the uh, her scooter at the big buns thing right here. And yep, this is located right in South Pasadena. And a fun fact, this is actually filmed not too far from the Myers house from John Carpenter's Halloween. Pretty cool, huh?
Now over here is where the gun shop from the Terminator used to be. So we are now in downtown LA, outside of where Technor used to be located. So, way around here, when Sarah Connor was following Kyle, no, no, Kyle Reese was following Sarah Connor, and he's walking down here, and she goes inside here. And uh, what used to be Technor is all right in here. It looks like it's being remodeled into something else. And most of it being a jewelry store right here. And some of the rest of the club was right around here, actually. And if I'm not mistaken, right around here, where Arnold got shot right out the window out into the street. Everybody who panicked ran right down this street right here. So about right here is where Arnold got up, went right back inside, and Kyle Reese asked, well no, I didn't ask. Kyle Reese said, come with me if you want to live and went back inside chase him right out the back come with me if you want to live So yeah, and like a lot of the other locations, it's changed a hell of a lot over years, but this is where Technor used to be. Okay, so now I'm at the filming location where uh, Sarah Connor's apartment is. Right here, when, I, when it's nighttime, there's a police cruiser parked right here. And then it gets a call and it goes away and right up in front of here Arnold's right in front of the camera and then he walks right up these steps and that's where he looks for Sarah Connor's apartment so back up just a little get that and that's where Arnold stands right there and then that's where he wreaks havoc in the apartment so now, we are at the gate. This is the parking garage where Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor come barging through on the, uh, in the Cadillac. No, not the Cadillac, the gray Ford, I take that back. The Cadillac is the car they get afterwards. So, and they go right through there and then they park and that's when uh, Kyle gives that whole speech about, you know, John Connor, Sarah Connor and all that stuff. Uh, says says no pedestrian access and other stuff like that but uh I'll get in real quick just to uh get get the point of view so right here this shot right here is where they come out and then they go driving around in this way Yeah, anyways, that's pretty cool. Off to the next location. So now, 
I am at the Tiki Motel, and apparently it's not a motel anymore. Apparently it's an apartment building. It's really been fixed up. Looks brand new, almost. <laughs> Anyways, that room right there was the motel room where Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor uh, conceived John Connor. Yeah, yeah. And so, down here is like where, there used to be like a, that's where you could use to drive out and all that. And apparently, it's like a, this right here, can't really focus in that well. But that's like Arnold, that's Arnold right there. And that's where he ran, ran practically right through that that new room. And he got up on his motorcycle and took right off. Oh yeah, and then this is like where the, the truck was and all that. And uh, also, the dog was like right in that doorway area right there by the stairs. And for those of you who don't know, that was actually James Cameron's dog. Arnold came out right in between those two palm trees, got on his bike, and then zoomed right down that street to chase after Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor. So we're about to head into the area where Terminator's in the police car and he ends up uh, chasing uh, Sarah and Kyle Reese. And this is a tunnel area like when they're in pursuit and then the Terminator smashes into the, uh, the wall. Here we are. pretty cool so yeah they turned in like right there and then they start going down this way right about here it's pretty cool actually and um, it's changed a lot actually from what I've looked up online uh, a lot has been added but uh, here we go so they go down this way Guns are firing left and right. And uh, the wall is actually shown a little further up. Yeah, the guns are firing, they're firing, they're firing. And then right where this next light is, right where that light and those two yellow lights are, is actually where the wall used to be where where the car crashed and then there used to be street lights down this way actually so technically we're about to crash through the wall right now and and that's how the terminator got his damaged eye actually so yeah i mean a lot's changed us in the past 33 years as a matter of fact so yeah that's that pretty cool now we're turning around and yeah off to the next location so now we're at the location when Kyle Reese was parked in a car and he hot wired the car it was right around here where he was parked and you can barely see in the background that apartment building right there on the driver's side of the door when he wakes up from the from the dream actually so uh 
So obviously, like uh, while he was uh, in the car, there was a building that was under construction, which was this building here, which is now an apartment building. So all of this was pretty much absolutely nothing. And then after he woke up from the dream, I mean, there's more trees than there were now. He just continued to drive off right that way down that street. And uh, then it cut to the next scene. Where to next? Are you gonna see the tunnel? Want to? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. So, later on in the film, not far from where Kyle Reese was parked earlier in the film uh, during that dream sequence, now, anybody recognize this? This is the tunnel where the end chase happened with uh, Arnold on the motorcycle chasing uh, Kyle and Sarah on the, uh, the truck. So, we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna drive through the tunnel and relive that scene. So now, we're about to embark into the tunnel where the chase happened. Turn right on West 2nd Street, ah, then turn right. Shut up. Turn right on South Figueroa Street, then turn right. All right, here we go. Just in time. <laughs> yeah, apparently they have all those barriers right there. They didn't have those uh, when they shot and filmed. Obviously, the reason why they have it now for pedestrians and all that. But yep, this is where it all happened and where they were throwing pipe bombs. Yeah, as we keep going straight, that's where the chase miles. continued turn to right happen, and that's Hill where then turn right. right after they came out of the tunnel was when, yeah, right after they came out of the tunnel was when uh, right Reese got Hill shot Street. right then in the rib cage. Right. So now, we are at the filming locations of the finale. The great grand finale, and for those who aren't aware, this is where the gas tank uh, truck blows up, right there. Though, for those who aren't aware, it wasn't a real gas tank truck. Then again, most of you might be able to tell that. It was actually a, they actually built an entire model of this entire area exactly like this and blew up, a, I believe it was a nine foot uh, model truck. And the reason being why they did not actually blow up an actual truck was because apparently, supposedly uh, this building was a, a weapons base or something like that. Or from what I see, I see like, Looks like wings to like uh, aircraft up there. Can't really zoom in that much, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool actually. And then uh, so truck blows up right here. Oh yeah, and then there's like a train. Uh, looks like this is where all the metro trains uh, go. Anyways, so explosion happens in the middle right here where I am, and. This is where uh, supposedly Reese and uh, Sarah Connor make up and, you know, they think it's all over until right about here it's where the Terminator emerges up in, from the uh, debris of the explosion as a complete skeleton. And this is the door they escape to. Now apparently, well, it looks like there used to be a window on the door. It looks like since Sarah smashed the shit out of that, looks like they've gotten a new one since. But uh, yeah, it's like right about here. We're like doing like an over the shoulder view of the Terminator and then they're trying to get through the door. And supposedly, this building is Cyberdyne Systems. But then again, the interior shots of that location were shot in a completely different location. It was a factory. So, 
that's the mo magic of movies, you know. You can shoot anything on the exterior and then shoot anything on the interior and it'll look real. <laughs>